So by lifting the hair up off the head like that, you're gonna be creating a nice little bit of volume right at the scalp there. Uh, my name is Brian Hare. I am here today with Free Salon Education Live, and today I wanted to go over a little bit of styling with you. Not just any old styling, but an actually pretty appropriate styling for right now. And right now, that is a ton of fringe, whether that whole curtain fringe, the shorter layer, that whole action that's happening around the face. I feel like especially now that we're moving from summer into fall, there's gonna be even more of it. So I just wanted to help you guys out. So I wanted to go over just two different quick little looks. One with a longer sort of curtain fringe, which I personally like a little bit more. A lot of the, uh, the center parts are going with the longer and it's over here and they'll work it into a face frame or maybe not. But I wanted to go over what is working best for me with this. And then a little bit more of the traditional fringe that kind of comes all the way across but still has that little drop curtain. Uh, something that works styling wise for that as well. First and foremost, we're gonna be using a round brush today. Is it's really, really important the size of the brush that you use. You wanna think about how much curl you're putting into the bangs because that's gonna be really important as far as like whether it gets a little wonky or if you use something too small on something that's too long, then it'll put too much curl and it just isn't gonna sit right. So you really wanna be thinking about the amount of loop that you're going to be putting into it. For these longer fringy bits on this particular mannequin, I'm gonna use a slightly larger brush. If you're going to style some bangs and the hair is dry, you're gonna to want to dampen the hair a little bit so that you get more control over it. Now instead of spraying the person's head themselves, a little trick that I love is gonna be actually spraying the brush instead because then you're going to be applying moisture or product in this case, only to the hair that touches the brush. I'm going with the Paul Mitchell Hydra Mist Blowout Spray. So give a few sprays to the brush, figure out what hair we're gonna be working with, get your super sweet blow dryer. So once you've got it heated up, the big question comes, do we go under with these or over? Typically, a lot of the old school bangs, you're gonna be coming under with the brush and wrapping the hair over that way. I'm actually going to be blow drying this back wrapped around the round brush, and I'll show you why. Because when you've got thicker hair or longer bits, the weight of it is going to want to fall down in the face to begin with. So by doing this, I'm gonna be training the hair to try to come back up off the face, lift it up off the forehead. So by lifting the hair up off the head like that, you're gonna be creating a nice little bit of volume right at the scalp there, which is gonna be good because it's gonna keep the fringe off the face, which is gonna make them hate it less, touch it less, break out less. Making sure that we give it a chance to heat that hair up because you are putting curl into it. And just like when you're working with a curling iron, you wanna heat that hair up and then give it a chance to cool down. To take it off the brush, I always like to just come back with it and let it fall back over the head. So then I come in and then just work it back with your fingers. And then what this is doing now is it's lifting this up off of her face. So that volume that you created at the base has it lifted up and then it's kicking back. So now she'll get to enjoy this longer curtainy fringe accessory to the haircut. So on the other side of that, I brought this gal in who's got a little bit more of a traditional fringe, sort of coupled with that curtain around the outsides that sort of breaks down. This scenario, I don't like doing it back because this hair's a little too short for that. So I'm gonna show you how I approach this. For the shorter fringe, we're gonna go with the smaller brush because again, you wanna be smart about this. I do want a little bit of bend in this. I want a little bit of movement. So I wanna use a brush that's gonna give it a little bit more curl. So when it comes to styling a fringe that has more of the, the curtainy long bits on the sides, I do like to incorporate that into the blowout. So I don't just have the, the shorter bangs, I have these pieces from the sides because I do want them to mirror the same amount of curl and bend that the fringe going across the forehead has.
again, we're transported back to another era of fringe, but we're not gonna leave that. So I like to give it a, work this back in. Decide with your guests how much coverage you want across the forehead. This is up to you guys and your styling. I'm just showing you the setup. Maybe she likes a little bit more of a split with just a few pieces in the middle. Maybe you wanna leave it a little bit more all the way across. But now when you incorporate this into the rest of the style, you've got a much softer, cuter look. And then over the back of the head with the longer are just gonna create two very different looks depending on how you want that hair to sit with the face. All right, guys, so there you go. We got some amazing fringe for you and however you choose to style it, now you've got the techniques to get there. So thank you guys so much. Be sure to download our app from freesaloneducation.com so that you can join us for all these classes. You'll have all of our videos in one place. You can chit chat with us, show us your work. It'll be super fun. So thank you guys and I'll catch you next week.